What's up with it everybody? This is Cry Code. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make a YouTube thumbnail with Photoshop CS6 or CC, whatever you guys have. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, don't freak out. Just pause the video, check the description below, and get Photoshop. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys wanna do is go ahead and launch Photoshop, and you guys are gonna wanna go ahead and start a new project. To do that, click on File on the top right corner and click on New. Uh, for the, the dimensions where it says width type in 1920 and on height 1080 make sure that it's selected on pixels and This one two pixels and your background content is transparent and click ok Now you guys want to go ahead and pick two colors you want to use for your background later on We can change it around so I'm gonna go ahead and select two colors You guys are gonna see two little boxes right here go ahead and uh, click on one of the boxes and pick any color You guys want I'm gonna go with a kind of like a pink and then the second color go with kind of like a sky blue so select some colors you guys really want to use and now that you guys got that done underneath where you see the eraser right here where there's a box right click this and make sure you select on gradient tool once you guys got that done just draw a line from the top left of your screen to the bottom right just like this as you guys can see if it looks weird to you guys you could change the directions just find a, a, a direction you guys like to use so basically i'm just gonna go um Right there, okay. Now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and do something else. Now personally, the way I make my thumbnails, I usually add, or I started to add uh, corners on, the, on my thumbnails. Basically, I make it look round. A couple of you guys have been asking me, how do I make my thumbnails look round? It's really simple and easy. Now, if you guys look in the description below, I have a image file you guys can download. You basically place it in a thumbnail, and it's gonna give it that round look. So, I wanna go ahead and click on file, and click place, and on my desktop, you guys can see I have a PNG image, it's called Round Corners. This is what I use for my thumbnail. I'm going to adjust it so it fits the screen. Alright, hit enter. Now, this is uh, the round look of the thumbnails. And the reason why I use this is because it really stands out. Because a lot of people on YouTube, they have box thumbnails. Everyone has like boxes, but when you have round thumbnails, it kind of gives it a different perspective, like a different feel. So, you get more people clicking on it. Now, now that I got that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and add some text and add all, all that good stuff. So right here, um, you guys can see a tool. It's called the Horizontal Type Tool. If you don't see it, right click it and click on it. Now, you're, you're going to click anywhere on the screen and type in anything for your thumbnail. Because this is a thumbnail tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, Make Awesome Thumbnails. So, what I recommend you guys doing is... A lot of you guys have been asking me, how do I download fonts and all this stuff? So basically, guys, you don't want to use the default fonts on Photoshop. You guys want to get your own fonts. Now, that's hella easy to do. Open up your browser and just go to thefont.com. Once you guys are on thefont.com, all you guys got to do is basically find some fonts. For instance, uh, I'm going to get the Armarillo font. Now, to download it, just click right here, download. And you guys can see armarillo.zip. Click this when it's done downloading and just double click the open type font or the true type font file you can do it on both and click install that's all you guys got to do because a lot of you guys are having trouble with that so make sure you guys install the font correctly now if you guys can't open it up all you guys got to do is basically get winrar and bam so now if we go back onto photoshop i highlight the text you guys can see right here if i scroll up armarillo there's the font because a lot of you guys have been asking me how do i get fonts and there you guys go so now that we got that out of the way on how to make your fonts, uh, let me go ahead and make another one. We're basically going to go ahead and make the thumbnail stand out. So for my first text, I'm going to use American Captain. This is the font I use. I'm going to hit Control T, make it a little bit bigger, and hit Enter. Now I'll make a second uh, font, and I'm going to type in Awesome. So make awesome thumbnails. I'm going to highlight this and find a different font, which I really like. It's called... Uh, Mr. Headlines. This font is really nice. And what I usually do to make my thumbnail stand out is I don't use the same font on every uh, on every text. Sometimes I change it up to give it kind of like a different look. Okay, so now what we're gonna do first is um, where it says Make, we're gonna right click on this, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on Stroke and click Drop Shadow and click OK. Now for Awesome, we're gonna do the same thing right here. Right click, Blending Options, Add a Stroke and a drop shadow and a gradient overlay. Now, click right here where it says gradient and you guys can pick uh, different gradients you guys wanna choose from. So what I'm gonna do to make it stand out even more is I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. It's like a pink white look and click okay again. 
make another text underneath and type in thumbnails bam all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and change the font again and i'm gonna go back to let's say nah i'm gonna go back to american captain okay now that we got that done Control t make it a little bit bigger and hit enter and then uh where it says make right click right here guys copy layer style and on the third text paste the layer style so when we zoom out you guys can see so far it doesn't look too bad but we can make it look a lot better so what i'm what i'm gonna do is align all the text up so i'm gonna click on make right here Control a go to layer align layers to selection vertical centers layer align the layers to selection horizontal centers and then i'm gonna hit enter uh, Control d and then up up arrow key and basically put it to the top you guys want to make sure you center the text so that way it looks nice and it stands out so go ahead and keep doing it la, 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 la. okay there now the same thing with awesome Control a on the second text go to layer align the layers to selection vertical centers layer align the layers to selection horizontal centers Control d go up and the last one for thumbnails all right so layer align the layers to selection vertical centers and layer align the layers to selection horizontal Control d down arrow key and bam saucy it looks good all right so one thing i'm going to tell you guys is you guys can also use custom images as your background you don't have to always use these colors and stuff like that so that's what i'm going to do right now what I recommend you guys doing, uh, like I told you guys in a previous video, you want to go on YouTube and look up Photoshop graphics pack and download some GFX packs for Photoshop. That way you can make it stand out. So I already have a graphics pack ready. If you guys want the same graphics pack I'm using, I'll leave it in the description. But go ahead and click on file and click on open. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down and let me find it in my downloads folder. Here it is. GFX pack. Open it up. Now if I go ahead and click on overlays, you guys can see, um, I click the eyeball here's some backgrounds I can use so for this video let's go ahead and use uh, this red one so I'm gonna hit control a control C to copy control V to paste control T resize it a bit and drag it all the way to the bottom you guys can unhide the colors one and as you guys can see this is what it looks like so far now if I don't like the uh, pink right here I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a red to silver font look so that way it looks a little bit different all right right there right click on awesome and then go to uh, grading overlay and then bam as you guys can see right there now i kind of don't like the darkness of the silver so i'm gonna up it up a bit and there you guys go make awesome thumbnails now for the background what i could do is do a hue and saturation and basically um whoops Basically, give it more of a dark look or a brighter look. So I'm going to leave it like this. Give it more of a redness. And there you guys go. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go back on the graphics pack and find some uh, sparks or flares I can choose from or reuse from. So I'm going to go ahead and let me unhide the background. You guys can see here's some sparks and flares you guys can use. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. pick this one the kappa 21 so control c and control v control t kind of resize it a bit and then where it says normal right here go ahead and lighten it or screen it whatever you guys want to do i'm gonna lighten it and do that now one thing to make your text truly pop out is where it says uh you guys can see i have the thumbnails text the awesome text and the make text what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna, I'm gonna group them together and give it a outer glow look so right here where it says make you guys want to go ahead and hold shift and click the rest of the text so your texts are highlighted hit ctrl g to group them right click go to blending options and then you guys want to go ahead and click on outer glow now you guys can click on here and size up the outer glow as you guys can see it already gives it a better look now i don't like the color so if i don't like the color i can go ahead and pick a different one like this red bam it already stands out as you guys can see so far so good now what i'm going to go ahead and do is position the text right here or hit control a so once all the texts are grouped vertical centers we're basically going to make it perfectly centered all right now go back to the graphics pack and what i'm going to go ahead and do is add the social media logos uh the white logos and i'm going to add 
the Facebook one. As you guys can see, there's a Facebook one right here. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Whoops. Hold on. I messed up there. Make sure you guys uncheck whatever you guys see on the screen. So right here, I want to take the Facebook, Control C, make sure there's an eyeball, and bam. As you guys can see, you can add your social media logos right there. But what I'm going to go ahead and do instead of Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and take the YouTube play button right here. Take this one. Hit Control T. Up it up a bit. And then kind of give it a slanted look. And then go back. Find the other YouTube logo. Go back. Control V. And bam. Resize. Kind of shrink it a bit. Drag it over here. There you guys have it. There's a thumbnail right here. As you guys can see, we're pretty much done. This is how you guys make awesome thumbnails. It's really eye-catching. It looks really beautiful and it really grabs your audience attention. Now, you guys can of course play with it even more and make it look even better. So it's totally up to you guys on what you do with all this. Now, when you guys are happy with your thumbnails and you guys are ready to upload it, just go ahead and click on file and click save as. Click on your desktop. On format, make sure you guys click the drop down menu and click on JPEG right here. File name, just type in uh, thumbnail, hit enter. Make sure for the quality size, you bump it up to maximum larger file and click OK. And there you guys go. So now, when you guys can see, uh, let me go ahead and minimize my desktop. Here's the thumbnail. It stands out, it looks really good and it looks crazy awesome. And that's what you guys wanted to do. You guys don't want any ugly looking thumbnails. You guys want it to make sure it looks nice. So if you guys want to upload it, basically go to Creator Studio, go to Video Manager, and click on Edit on one of your videos. And you guys can see right here where it shows your change image. Click this and click on Thumbnail. And then once you guys got that done, just click Save Changes and you're done. Now, if you guys don't see the custom image thumbnail right here, you guys got to make sure you verify your YouTube account with your phone number. Once you guys verify your YouTube account, you have the ability to upload custom thumbnails. And that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Croat Code. Make sure you guys drop a like below and I'll see you guys next time.